Hello Tarot fans, welcome to another edition of Blue Six Tarot. I'm your fantastic host Blue Six, thank you very much for watching. Now before I start the main video, once again don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow me on social medias. Now today this deck arrived and I was really looking forward to this because I very rarely actually order anything on Kickstarter. Mostly because not everything usually catches my fancy, but I came across this deck and I thought, well, why not? So today we'll be taking a look at and doing an unboxing of the White Fly Tarot. And I uh, hope you enjoy. And now, rolling on that classic intro. I say classic, I quite enjoy it, and a lot you seem to, so roll it on anyway. Okay, so we're going to take a look. So, unfortunately, uh, there was a bit of damage as uh, it arrived in the place today, so it's a bit of a bump in the corner here. Uh, the deck size is uh, just past 5 inches, or uh, 13 centimetres, by um, 3 and 1 quarter inch, or 8 centimetres across. Uh, so the box itself, now, the quality of print, the box itself feels um, feels fine. Um, I like the I like the uh, card they're using for the front. Uh, the plain white works really well. Once again, obviously white fly. Now I'm a bit disappointed with the sides. Um, it does feel a bit more kind of bland, uh, generic. But at the same time, uh, as an in, as an independently developed deck. I'm not. I'm not expect. You know, I'd never really expect greatness from something. Um, I don't expect something like massively great. Not fan of the sides, but you don't buy the box for the sides. I do like the little fly on top and bottom though. <clears throat> so take this out. Uh, so it's a little stiff to get the box out, but at the same time, get the lid off. But at the same time, it's probably due to the little things there. So here we have the book. So I just move that aside for a minute. Now the book. Uh, the quality of book feels okay. Um, rather plain sort of back here. Um, <clears throat> have a quick look at the book itself. Okay, so no pictures, but um, small print uh, for the information for each card. A quick click ahead. <clears throat> so it is in different languages. I'm not going to go check them all, but uh, yeah. If you, I can guess, if so, if you want to kind of, if you do like to read it, the print is a bit small, so you might need, if you're someone who needs glasses, you probably need glasses for this. But uh, the book in itself is kind of nice. I said it's, um, the edges are kind of solid, nothing particularly, uh, uh, there's nothing really much to say about the book itself. <clears throat> so the background, it's, uh, the back of the box was, uh, the back of the cards were good. Um, the design's quite interesting, not quite what I would expect, not quite what I was expecting. Um, but I do like the fact the flies are there. Now, the back of it feels like um, plain playing cards. Um, sort of your um, standard bicycle sort of cards. So, we're going to so take the box out. Um, so, I also forgot to mention, like, so on the side you have court cards. Uh, which look quite nice, but once again... It feels a bit wasted on the back, on the sides. You could probably put something, another sort of really cool pattern. On the back looks really cool. That's would see the Justice, I think that's probably Justice, or Justice, ju no, probably Judgment maybe, but we will see. But uh, that does look quite nice though, so. Um, now I don't actually do ratings out of 10 or anything, so, but, I, but uh, the box is nice bit of display, so. Now we're starting with, so it's number one is the Magician. Now the cardstock itself feels very thick, actually, very thick. Um, so slightly, once again, it, the texture feels like a normal playing card, but it feels slightly thicker than a normal playing card. Um, so, um, so it's probably thicker than your standard deck. <clears throat> so let's begin. So we've got the uh, Magician here. Uh, so they've got their book with all the symbols on it, rather than just holding the things themselves. It's pretty cool. Love the hood; that looks really cool. 
uh, High Priestess. Has a kind of a nice blue elf uh, with it, nice with a dream catcher. And so it's all nice plain backgrounds. Uh, ah, this one looks quite nice. So you've got the Empress. Uh, looks like a stone statue, looking like a stone statue, which I think looks quite nice. Uh, with uh, flowers in her hair, with the symbol of Venus. Uh, what I've also noticed is um, each card also has uh, which uh, planet they're assigned with, so that's quite handy to know. <clears throat> so then we've got, uh, so I might as well do it this way then, we've got the Emperor. Once again, looks quite good. Um, a nice kind of, sort of nice little bit of wisdom. Once again, also looks like it's stone. Uh, the Hierophant. Now, I always find it interesting when they have the Hierophant uh, looking, not not being a person. Um, I always think that kind of adds to it, but I like the fact it's a, a deer or a stag. looks pretty cool. Uh, oh, so it was the Lovers. My apologies. Um, I don't know why I'm apologising, but yeah, so this one is actually the Lovers. Still a good choice. I still think that it looks really good, very powerful. Uh, I love his... Uh, his winged helmet mask thing there as well. That looks really good. I like that they're also both angels. Um, chariot. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, with a dolphin and a shark. That's a, that's a pretty cool parallel. I do like that. Um, if that's supposed to be... I was going to say King Trident. If that's supposed to... It might, might work if that's supposed to be Neptune, but not necessarily Poseidon. But um, I watch a lot of really sarcastic productions, which I definitely recommend you check out. This one's kind of interesting, um, where you've got like the blue heart. It, that's that's an interesting way to do that one. Strength, I do think that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that that's a very interesting way to do that one. Uh, the hermit. You know what? That's kind of interesting as well. So well, well done, sir. You're doing pretty well with this. Um, uh, uh, Danny Danilo. Danilo, very good. Um, once again, I would have put that more as a death death card. That just means what's death going to look like. Um, okay, so we've got the Wheel of Fortune there. That's quite cool. Uh, Justice uh, looks fucking awesome. Looks like that looks like a two bladed lightsaber. Uh, shades of blue, I think, look amazing though. That looks really good. The Hanged Man. Now, this doesn't necessarily feel like it has like a set theme to each of, um, doesn't it like there's a running theme through the deck, just more like here is this really cool picture for each one. Ah, uh, so Death looks pretty good. Um, Death looking similar to Temperance actually by uh, all the stars, but that looks pretty good. The fact that bones look gold, that looks amazing. Uh, temperance, okay. Being unplugged, that's kind of cool. Um, I, I do like the kind of root system, uh, the kind of like branch, look like like little branches, and for now that does look pretty good. The devil, I don't know what's going on there, but I love it. Oh, the high heels. Okay, sir. Well done, sir. This is one of my new favourite devil cards. Well done, sir. The tower looks amazing. That looks really, really good. Um, there is a deck that um, has the D&D uh, &D spell casting cards. And they also did their own version of the tarot, which I might get at some point in the future. But this looks like that. This That looks just magnifique. Can't think of anything else to say. The star looks fantastic. I was not expecting something like this. That looks amazing. So we've got the the moon, which is the cover. Um, so it's very difficult to comment as I've been looking at this most of the time. But yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. There's a moth, the sun with a bait. Uh, sir, you have quite the imagination. I think this is really cool. So some of these are really cool things you'd have on posters and t-shirts, which I, which I consider a good thing because if the artwork's really cool, of course you'd want that on your poster. Um, okay. Is this like a reference to Bottom in Shakespeare in Shakespeare, Midsummer Night's Dream? Because uh, it's a man who looks like a donkey, but I don't quite, I don't get that, if I'm honest. It still looks interesting. I, I don't get it, but it looks interesting. Please, um, if someone gets it, please explain it to me in the comments. 
So then we've got the world, which kind of look, which looks really cool, um, with um, uh, with the uh, uh, the constellations uh, there as well. So you've got um, uh, Sagittarius, I believe, the M for Sagittarius, the water, the water of Aquarius, Taurus, and uh, uh, maybe Scorpio. I'm not quite sure with that one, but I think that that does look quite nice. Then we have my favourite card of the fall. Um, it's really cool and colourful. I always find it interesting when they put the fall at the end. That does kind of... I do think it's quite interesting when they do that. So now we move on to the um, to the miners. So, so the, okay, so these are... So we're going by the pentacles. Uh, okay, so then... So it looks like you've got the... Uh, name at the bottom and their planet and sign at the top. I think it's pretty cool. That looks, you know what? For a two of coins, that is more effort than that co than that card's ever usually given. Well done, sir. Um, okay, so it seems to be going on this nice theme of ha um, hands being rock. No, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Um, this one, I believe, is taken from this four. I think it's taken more from the um, ah, come on, from the Thoth deck with how they do their fall there. This is definitely Thoth influenced. Um, I might do a Thoth video one day. Um, definitely riders from this one. I like the fake crown as well. That looks quite a nice little act. And the fact that their feet are transparent. So that's either because they're cold or... I don't know, but that's, that's a very interesting way to do this. Um, oh, that looks pretty cool. Um, handing out the um, finances then. It's all interlinked and connected by pearls maybe that's still a pretty flash looking image um this a nice beautiful stairways keys quite that this is a very kind of this is a very not trippy but this is still more effort and more high this is some of the best artwork i've seen now I don't have as many. I, I'm not to the point as uh, my good friend Tarot Tidbits, but I've not. I don't see that many Tarot with this much detail and colour. Now this, there's this little fox there has that sort of uh, mascot video game mascot that you sometimes see. But yeah, these these colours and details are just different. Definitely a lot more than I would have expected. Consider seeing some of the beginnings of this deck. So now we have the uh, court cards. Okay, so I feel that the st style of people... So this is a sort of... I, uh, now, I'm not big in video games, but I definitely have like a, a a kind of understanding with them. And this does have that kind of feeling of... This is sort of in indie game you'd see on Steam for like 10, 20 quid. One of those really good games... I, I sound like I'm slate. I sound like it's a backhanded compliment, but the the style of artwork I'm on here. The only time I ever see artwork of this sort of style and quality is when they're releasing it as a video game, and I'm considering that a good thing. That's not a. I'm, that's, I'm not trying to backhand compliment. This is a genuine one. Now I, I do like uh, the uh, proportions of the people look really cool. Ah, right. <clears throat> so we've got the cups. So we've got the. To there, I love the little reeves there. I'm not quite sure what's behind them, but then obviously that's not really the point. And I like the, the uh, glowing on the chest, so I think that's pretty good. Uh, now I think there's been a couple of depictions of the three of cups being mermaids, and I've always liked that, and not just in the mermaid tower. Uh, so we've got the three, sorry, the four. Sorry, uh, that looks really cool, bizarre, and I love it. I'm. I, I don't think I've been happy with such a purchase in uh, tarot purchase in quite a long time. I'm very pleasantly surprised by all of this art. Now this is a very interesting five. I was not expecting this sort of thing as a five. Um, seriously, this is some of the this is some of the most uh, detailed backgrounds and artwork and art style I've seen in ages. Okay, so I guess the thing for me is that the people, the artwork of the people look good. 
but because you have such interesting detailed and blending of backgrounds it feels like it's taken away slightly when you see people's faces now this isn't this isn't me knock, once again i'm not knocking the artwork or art style of the faces but I mean, it's it feels it feels that they for me, for me it kind of feels like the 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 pictures the 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 faces is that little bit different from the main theme the artwork but at the same time i wouldn't know how else to design to kind of do the artwork for all the faces but then that's always i but then i always find that when you're doing humans to when you're doing other pe when you're doing other animals okay so this is the same background from the two so what the page they're wearing a mask i don't quite know why they're wearing a mask uh, the, the night here. I do like how I do like how that's designed to make it look like water droplets. Uh, the queen, um, kind of similar to the last queen, the king. Pretty cool. Nice little cape there. Next we have the wands. So I like that each court card, um, each um, um, each ace seems to have. There's basically the same image. But there's a different item and a different colour. So the background's still the same. I think quite nice. Uh, wow. <laughs> so this is still kind of like picking a direction. But as I said, the colour is just amazing. Uh, two. Okay, once again, kind of similar po similar pose. But, <laughs> but still somehow managed to make it look just as, inter just as interesting and different. Uh, as in compared to the previous, so that's still pretty nice. Uh, four looks quite good. Always got to have a centaur. I mean, I try not to hang around with horse people because I always want to be the centaur of attention. That looks pretty cool. Um, that looks more like prep. That feels like preparation and wow. <laughs> now I don't know what else there is to say. Okay. There's one way to do a parade. Hey, I'm doing a parade. What am I going to do? I'm going to ride an F off dragon. I don't know why I said F off when I swore earlier. Um, <clears throat> and seven looks good. This kind of has a... I like her hair. Hair looks pretty good. And I always like it where you have the uh, paint. When someone has that sort of paint it's kind of, and you have evidence of like it running or not being perfect. That I do quite like. And a lot of pointed sticks. Uh, that's a really nice looking dragon. My word, sir, you, you have, you know what, you've outdone yourself there. I like Minotaurs, Minotaurs, Minotaurs. I'll go with Minotaur, Minotaur sounds good. I love Minotaurs, I think they're really cool. This one looks amazing. And then we've got the 10. That seems quite great. I think it's kind of looks more like a, uh, like a Hobgoblin or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, he... I, I like the fact it's kind of tied up as well. So not only is it tricky for him to carry, but he's got to hold the ribbon as well to keep them all together. So we look at the courts. Uh, so it looks like all the. I don't think I noticed it with the uh, with the other page, but I think they seem to all be wearing masks. Uh, okay, I like this knight here. Has a very kind of confidence to him. Doesn't really feel much for the queen or the king, but then it's always very hard to kind of add different attributes to the king and queen all right so now we've just got the swords and uh once again that sword kind of looks like lightsaberish damn it you look really really cool okay now one thing i always tr find tricky is when i do my reviews i have to p i try and pick one of each one card from each suit and i'm glad i'm doing this as an unboxing because i couldn't i wouldn't be able to figure out which one is my favorite these are some of the most beautiful cards and artwork I've ever seen. I like the kind of connection here with the dream state. So there's a, there's not as much of a negative feeling with this one as there is with some of the other four swords. Okay, I like that. I can, I can kind of hear his little... Sn I can... Ah, oh, this is a lot of... I can't look at this and not think mischief. I like that. It's really nice. And I don't think there's a single end to any of these snakes. No, it's all ends and no beginnings. But I, I like that. I can hear a little laughter. Okay. Um, as I said, this is these these just keep getting better and better. 
I don't think this is person's on a craft, but it looks like they're still planning to go on their trip for the six here. Uh, seven, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but it still looks, there's still a lot of stuff happening there. I'm not quite sure what it is though, but it still looks cool. Uh, eight, not quite how I'd imagine this would be. So they don't, there's, there's no feeling of entrapment here, but there's still a lot of, it still has a feeling of slight chaos going on. Uh, nine, okay, nine, that does kind of have that kind of nightmare feel look to it, but I mean, still looks amazing. Uh, ten, that's done quite well. Uh, they're not in the middle of a street or anything like that. They're just on the, so that looks like it's more out of nowhere. The fact they're st sitting on, uh, sitting at their table. It looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like it was just kind of come out of nowhere, similar to the tower. So, <clears throat> uh, okay, I like his exp I like his mask expression. That looks pretty cool. There is a lot of it looks more like confusion than anything else on that one. Uh, um, I like his cockiness and arrogance sort of look here. Now, I, don't, I think I'm gonna have the same sort of feeling. There's not yeah, does not really feeling like there's much going on with this queen nor the king. But as I said, it's with with them it always usually feels there's not a lot of personality you can get to the king and queen to be fair yeah so that's my unboxing of the uh white fly tarot um uh, D uh danilio if i pronounce your name correctly great job bleeding love it um it was a surprise going through as i kept going so yeah if you want to check out some tarot if you want to get a, get a good box of tarot, get this one. This is, I'm not being sponsored, um, but I, I genuinely would say this is definitely, definitely worth the purchase. Um, if you're a collector, go for it. If you're a reader, there is so much to go from this. There is so much you can enjoy. Yeah, um, so that's been my unboxing. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, follow me on the social medias, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.